A bartender is just a pharmacist with a limited inventory. Rightly said by Sir Albert Einstein. Hello everyone, my name is Shobhik Sargar, currently associated with Inspire Knowledge Campus as a capacity of Assistant Professor in Hospitality Management Department. Today we are going to make one mind blowing and refreshing mocktail name as Passionate Bull. So without further delay, let's begin the show. My drink name is a Passionate Bull. As I already mentioned, today I am going to use like to show you the key ingredients which I am going to use for making the my drink. Okay. So a unique thing I am going to use for this drink is a uh, Red Bull yellow editions it's a limited edition red bull i'm gonna use these things i'm gonna use a sprite i'm gonna use a soda i'm gonna use a soda so okay and i'm gonna use a, a fresh orange slices and i'm gonna use this syrup first is the triple sec it's nothing but it's exactly a orange base sweetened liquor it's a sweetened in taste and the flavor is a orange and another thing is I'm gonna use the blue curacio this is a blue color which gives a coloring agent to your drink it's very important when you are making any drink the balancing of the drink is very important rightly need to choose a quality ingredients at the same period of time need to balance all the ingredients in appropriate manner so that the your drink is not that showery or not that sweetened it should be well balanced at the same time we need to keep in mind the garnish or the presentations that thing okay so uh, and another things i missed it actually uh, the thing i'm going to use uh, dehydrated orange slices i'm going to just let just to like to show you this this is i'm going to use this is a dehydrated orange slices i'm going to use it as a garnish so now this is very new normal things has been introduced to the industry where we generally take out the moisture part of the orange or you can say it's a sun dried what we do we don't do a sun dried what we do we actually keep it in the microwaves or you can keep it even in the otg for a hour it will be like this and for this you can see a caramelization part have been done it done just because of the presence of a brown sugar we put it on a top okay so this is my ingredients so let's begin i am using a very unique uh, kind of glassware for this presentation of this i'm going to use this fish bowl to prepare my drink at the simultaneously i'm going to present into a two different glassware one is in a fish bowl another one is very unique i'm going to use uh, this light bowl or like bulb i'm going to use it for the presentation so i will make the drink in a simultaneous way and will present in a two different manner hope you're going to like it okay okay first what we need to do and another thing i'm going to use it uh fresh lemon juices on this so as i already mentioned that key to balancing the drink is very important for this i'm going to require a uh 20 ml of fresh lemon juices So as I say, I'm gonna make it in a simultaneous way. So I'm gonna use this at the same time. So you know, another way. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the this things. I'm gonna use another thing is a mint leaf. I'm gonna use it. It's a very refreshing. At the same time, it gives a a nice aroma and it's a herbal at the same time okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to put this right and some of the things i'm going to put here as well okay the next thing i'm going to use for this is a club soda before i pour anything i need to just adding a couple of the ice cubes in this my fresh jar seven to eight cubes of it's okay
my next ingredients will be this the club soda i'm gonna use it very important when you open the bottle of the club soda with it you can see the bubbles inside it just presence of the carbon dioxide so it's also known as the aerated water so when you're gonna pour it you make sure you open it in a proper manner otherwise it will come up the fees will come up and it's very embarrassing when you're making in front of the guest this is exactly but when you're in a making in a home eat this thing you should keep it in mind to avoid this kind of embarrassing things it's better you wait and slowly open the cap of a club soda I'm gonna use it like 100 ml to this. The next ingredients I'm going to use the so seven up. So sir, 50 ml I'm gonna use. It's a powder. Huh? I'm gonna use a 50 ml of seven up. Same as I'm putting over here, everything. The next ingredients I'm going to use is the seed oil part, the yod. First is the triple sec, which generally gives a your sweeter. It generally gives and it's an orange flavor at the same time. Do not use more, otherwise it will become a more sweeter in taste, which is gonna be not gonna be a quality of a good. And things I'm gonna before I pour it, I'm gonna use another key ingredient to my drink that is a some of the slice of fresh lemons. Keeping in mind, it's very well that key the hygiene is a very important factor. Do not use anything with your naked hands. Always use the tongs. So I'm gonna place it two of this. So the bottle, the fish jar, three actually. Same as I'm gonna not gonna use the slices. I want to use a half of the this. The next thing I'm gonna use the coloring agent, which gives a color to the drink. It's a blue curacao. I'm gonna use it, and it's just a little. It's a five ml. It's more than enough. The next, what I'm going to do, I'm just to give a, a quick stir to my drink. To mix all the ingredients in a right manner. As you see, a very amazing and beautiful color of the drink already have been prepared. But it's not yet done. And the same things we need to done in the shaker as well. Give a gentle stir that your all the ingredients should mix properly. The last thing I'm gonna use it the main the game changer of the drink that is a your Red Bull Yellow Editions. You can see that the color has automatically have been started changing, and it is come up into a very sea green color. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add one couple of the skews, it will be okay. And how I'm gonna do a garnish, okay, okay, I'm gonna do a garnish with this. And I'm gonna use
I'm gonna clip it and this is just not the end I'm gonna make it a also another different manner I'm also gonna be make it how just have a look on this this is a very unique bulb shape these things what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pour the drink inside this the bulb okay Now I'm gonna close it. What I'm going to do it, I'm gonna take one glass. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna make this glass with a bit of crushed ice by just using a normal crushed ice on this. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place this in the bottle of this, like this one, right? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place uh, two of this dehydrated orange as a part of the garnishes, like this. So this is our passionate bull which is a very innovative at the same time very easy to make but garnish is a main key factor of this particular drink as you see that presentation is so amazing the thing is that whenever you make a good drink it has to be a eye popping or the good for your eye visuals so this is thank you uh, hope you like the video if you do like it do likes and give us a feedback in our comment sections thank you